Dear friends, after knowing when to give the packed red cell and platelet transfusion in a preterm baby, one should understand that any transfusion is an invasive procedure and that puts the preterm baby at risk of various complications. Hence, we should offer good monitoring on all these babies who receive transfusion. In this webinar, we will discuss the monitoring of babies who receive the blood component transfusion. Here we will learn what monitoring is needed for the babies receiving the transfusion before, during and after transfusion. Understanding the monitoring of neonate is an important all through. Let us now see what monitoring should be done prior to transfusion. It is very important to document the indication of transfusion and the levels of hemoglobin or platelet before transfusion. As the transfusion is invasive procedure, talk to the parents about the procedure and take a consent. One should always recheck and document the details of lot and the bag. This is mandatory prior to any transfusion. One should legibly and clearly document the rate and volume of component to be given and the same should always be communicated to the nursing staff taking care of the baby. The transfusion should be given only through peripheral intravenous line. Having knowing these important considerations, one should not forget to take the samples for determining the etiology prior to the transfusion as the results will be difficult to interpret once the baby is transfused. Now once we have gone through the checklist to be completed prior to transfusion, let us now see what is important monitoring which is needed during transfusion. Every vital is important during transfusion, hence monitor the baby for variation in temperature, saturation, heart rate, BP, capillary fill time, urine output, respiratory rate every hour or more frequently in case of sick babies. At some times, the transfusion volume is administered fast unknowingly. Hence, always regularly check the amount of blood component left and determine if this is appropriate for time elapsed. Needless to say, always look for the local site complications actively and regularly. After the transfusion, continue monitoring the baby for another 2 to 4 hours as complications may still occur. Restart the maintenance fluids if stopped. Inform the parents about the completion of transfusion. Hemoglobin and platelet levels need to be repeated only if the baby is not improving or in cases where there is severe anemia or thrombocytopenia. Hence, to conclude friends, monitoring is very important part of transfusion in preterm neonates. It should include the preparation before transfusion and documentation, monitoring the vitals during transfusion and monitoring should continue post transfusion for at least 2 to 4 hours. Thank you.